Next up, Bessie is in Highgate on a typical sunny but crisp Melbourne day. It is an absolute miracle because Melbourne has turned on the weather in this winter's day. How could today get any better? Hang on a second, have you seen this house? Hey Joe, how are you? Good Bessie, how are you? Very good. Hey, well done on having the most beautiful home on the street. Thank you very much, we're very proud. It is absolutely gorgeous and I love the facade. Yeah, this is the Hamptons facade on our Monterey 5. So mm -hmm. it's got a lot of uh, weatherboard, obviously the windows, the gable, the stone. Yep. It's beautiful, we're very happy. Yeah, and I'm sure it just floods all the way through as well. It certainly does. Let's have a look. Joe, this is absolutely beautiful. I love how it's so married to the outside. The interior design on the inside is perfect. Thank you. Yes, we've tried to keep the uh, the exterior style, so the Hampton style, and carry it right through. So stone from the outside, stone on the fireplace, stone outside. So cool. So when you're walking in the front door, of course, you've got an amazing cellar over there on your right hand side. And what a cool little little hobbit door that you've got in there. Yes, yeah, so storage is always an issue in all houses. So wherever we can fit storage, we will. And yep. in, in this house, we had the opportunity to actually hide it behind the cellar. So yeah, open the door and all the Christmas tree, spare wine, it's all hidden back there. And then a super cool music space. Is that for your daughter? Yes, so originally it was designed as a theater room, yep. but she's taken that over and yeah, she's a musician. So yep. she uses that space and it's perfect. It's located under another living space yep. so she can work to all hours without disturbing the rest of the household. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen a space like that before. So cool. Well done dad. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> and then you walk in here and what a beautiful living area. Yes, this is the, the hub of the home, <laughs> the heart as I say. So we've got the kitchen, the living area, the dining and then that's out to the, um, the outdoor pool area. I love to cook, I'm the cook of the house. Yeah. So there's three ovens, there's a warming drawer. No. All the bells and whistles are here. It's cooking heaven. Yeah, no That's... excuses. No, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. And I love the ceiling height. It does add to the grand space of the home. And, and my favorite thing is probably how you've made those cabinet doors go all the way up. It just gives it so much length and of course, so much storage. Yeah, so storage is important. On a lot of homes, you see the cupboards finish at a shorter height yeah. and then filled up with a, a bulkhead. So in this case, we've taken the, the cupboards up as high as we can. How many bedrooms are in the home? So there's five in total. Yeah, so the master is completely separate from the rest of the house. Yeah. It's at the back of the home. It has a view of the pool. It's got a, the ensuite is separated from the master bedroom by the two walk-in robes. Very good, and then upstairs, all the um, bedrooms are still contained as well, so there's quite a few ensuites upstairs. Yeah, so there's two bathrooms upstairs. One is an ensuite. Each of the bedrooms are disconnected from each other, mm -hmm. so that none of the two bedrooms actually share a bedroom wall. And then they have that huge living space up there, so kids can basically run wild upstairs yeah. and leave the downstairs for the mum and dad. Fantastic job with this house. What, what would you say are your favourite features in this home? I know there'd be a few. Yeah, there's a few. Um, obviously the, the facade when you arrive, mm -hmm. um, that always sets the impression. It's yeah. always nice to come home and, and see something that looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but then coming inside, you know, you've got the feature of the fireplace, the yes. pool, the outdoor alfresco area. But then there's also some things that you probably don't see when you walk through. We've got a PV solar system which is hooked up to a Tesla battery. Oh, that's so cool. Tell me about that. So during the day, the sun is feeding power into the home. Mm -hmm. Any surplus power that's not being used is going into the battery. Mm -hmm. And the battery then stores that power until there's not enough solar gain from the sun and it starts feeding it back into the house. For this house here in around September and October, it runs at almost 100% on the power that it generates off the roof. So you have been in this industry for 20 years, so I guess you've seen a lot of growth within the industry, especially when it comes to the environment. Where do you see it going? Have you, are you seeing like, I mean, we're going to get flying cars next year in Melbourne. Yes. What's going to happen with houses? Uh, well, yeah, houses are a tip to get smaller because obviously they're getting um, more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, harvesting natural energy will become more Amazing, prevalent. Yeah. And batteries will probably become part of the norm for every single house. This home won an award? Yes, uh, won the 2018 HIA Best Project Home for Victoria. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I concur. Very, very good job. You've, you've built a beautiful house. Thanks so much. Thank you. We're very proud. Thanks for coming to have a look. <laughs>